there. I am spraying down my kale plants. Um, about three or four weeks ago, we were infested with cabbage worm and it completely devastated our, our crop here. And so now I'm spraying my cabbage with a homemade solution, which I'm gonna share with you in a minute. But first I'm gonna to cut to a short video that explains what we were dealing with. This is my absolutely gorgeous kale patch. We have so much kale and we have so much kale, we don't know how to harvest it fast enough. So um, I'm pretty devastated by the damage that these caterpillars are doing. You can see as you get closer that they're just devouring the leaves in its entirety. And so today I'm going to apply a little remedy and we're going to try and get rid of these little buggers. Okay, so here is the solution to the cabbage worm. You can see that all of these plants are a quarter of the size of what they were before. What I did is I cut back every single leaf off of these cab these kale plants right back to the stems. So the only thing left were the stems, basically. I found a solution that you can make at home on a website called Bob Villa. I can't take credit for it. And I thank them very much because it did work. Um, it's one tablespoon of molasses. You mix it in a liter of warm water and you shake it up really well. And then I add a teaspoon of dish soap. And I use an organic, eco-friendly dish soap and that seemed to work fine. And I started to spray the stems. I sprayed every other day, and when it rained, I would spray again. And after a week, I started spraying a little bit less. As the leaves started to form, I would spray when it rains, maybe once a week, and I'd spray each of the, the plants in full, leaves back and front, the entire stem with this solution. And I have no more cabbage worms. I have not seen any worms or eggs on the kale and that was about three or four weeks ago and you can see how beautiful these plants are looking. And the one thing that I'm really happy with is that I actually had this problem because now I have all this baby kale. And before I was trying to harvest and eat very big kale leaves that were tough and not so enjoyable. So now I've got lots of lovely baby kale that I can stay on top of and no cabbage worms. And I know how frustrating it can be when you have a garden and something happens like this and you, it gets out of your control. So I thought I would share this solution. It worked really well for me. I'm very happy and good luck, happy gardening, and we'll talk to you soon.